So now we're just looking for the bus stop to go to Penang Hill. It's the oldest British hill station in Southeast Asia and it opened in 1923. Oh, it's 100 years old. It's its 100th birthday in October this year. Good morning, we're in Penang in Malaysia and this is our first day. We've got up early this morning with a plan to go up Penang Hill to see the city with a bird's eye view. But the weather might not be on our side because it is really cloudy so we don't know whether the view up there will be as good as we hoped. But we're only here for a few days so we thought let's go and grab some breakfast, head up there, share the experience with you, fingers crossed. And Jerry G won the funny breakfast and one funny breakfast and also one orange juice and just regular. Oh look at this spoon, that's nice. Nice and fresh. So I've got a nice hearty breakfast with some toast, bacon, sausage, hash brown, some scrambled egg, mushrooms, baked beans, and some salad. This looks really nice. That's sound English. Yeah, it does. I, it, it doesn't actually say English breakfast on the menu. It just says big platter breakfast. Thank you. Am I similar to Friday? It's called funny, funny breakfast. I hope they didn't put um, the weed in. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Tha we're in Malaysia now, not Thailand. There'll be not be any weed in there. <laughs> yeah, we've downloaded an app which is called Pulse, and I think you can use this in Penang, and you can also use it in Kuala Lumpur as well. So what you do is you just put in the destination that you want to go to. For example, Penang Hill and then it tells you which bus services you need to get, how long it'll take. I don't think it tells you the price. So now we're just looking for the bus stop to go to Penang Hill. Oh, Penang Hill, you must take bus at Komta. Yeah. You change, change bus. Yeah. One, go to Komta, one, 40, one person, 280. 280. Yeah. If you do decide to take the bus, make sure that you've got the right change. The bus driver doesn't handle the cash. There's a little box next to the driver and you just need to put your money in there. This journey was one ringgit 40 per person. So we're going to do two journeys. We'll get off and catch another bus. But the buses are really cheap. Of course, if you want to rent a motorbike or a car, you can do that. But we wanted to go for the cheap mobile option. There isn't actually an entrance fee to get into Penang Hill. There's a couple of options available with regards to how you get up there. If you're feeling fit, you can walk and you can take about two hours to get up there. The easier option, which we're gonna do, is you can grab the funicular, which takes you all the way up there, and that takes about 10 minutes. And there's a sign just behind me here with the prices. It looks like there's quite a bit of mist, but about an hour ago before we travelled here, as I said before, we were in two minds thinking, oh, is the weather clear enough today? But it does look like it's starting to clear a little bit, so hopefully by the time we get up there, we'll have a much clearer view. Hello, can I have two return tickets for the normal name? So where are you from? I'm from England. Okay, so do you have your face mask? Uh, yes, I do. Sorry. So, sir, are you a resident or a visitor? A visitor. It's the oldest British hill station in Southeast Asia and it opened in 1923. Oh, it's 100 years old. 
It's its 100th birthday in October this year. Wow. Video. Do you want to be on YouTube? mist so if we turn right you can go to the sky deck but I don't think there's much point in going up there yet because I don't think the view is clear enough so there's a mosque well let's have a look at the mosque and then hopefully this mist will clear a bit Okay, so you can see from this map that there's quite a lot to see and do. A lot of the things you can do are free, but there's a few things. For example, this place, the habitat, it's a walkway. You can walk around the habitat and I think that costs about 60 Malaysian ringgit. But this leaflet that we've got here, Penang Hill, this explains to you which items are free and which activities you need to pay for. Yeah, and I think from here you can see just an incredible view of Penang. You can see the sea, you can see all of the buildings. I'm trying to look to see where our hotel is, but I've got no idea. Oh, there's some binoculars here as well to have a look to get a better view. Try to look. You see something? No, I can't see anything. Oh. I don't think it's working. <laughs> you need to put one ring it in to have a look for two minutes. There's also a hotel here as well called the Bellevue Hotel and it's got a little cafe so we've stopped here to get a little drink but there's a lovely view. Have a look at this view.
it's lovely here, it's really peaceful. There's a few people here but it's so quiet and you can just hear the sounds of the insects and the birds, it's beautiful. It looks like most of the spots you want to visit here are free, but then there's a few other things. If you want to go on a go-kart and if you want to explore further, or if you want to visit some other areas, it looks like there's a fee. Oh, there's some uh, the attraction here as well. Let me see, come on. Uh, I think that's you have to pay. Dinosaur on the hill. And another one, a toy museum. And over there, the typhoon. The typhoon and the earthquake. Yeah, simulation. Ah, simulation. Ah, right, right. <laughs> How much is this one? 200 ringgit, one person. You guys, there's two plus earthquake and typhoon. Ah, okay. Right. Thank you. <laughs> If you get hungry, there's plenty of options to choose from. I'll show you the different options of food that are available. This is inside the cafe. That's it going. Look very nice behind there. Always on a journey. How many scabber? Huh? How many scabber have? About 9,000. 9,000? Yes. Good. Still small. How many? How long already open? Um, two years. Two years? Two years, yeah. Two. two. You from, sir? I'm from England. No, yeah, and are you from here, from Penang? Yeah. Yeah, all your life. Oh, ah, good. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you. Thank you. How's your visit in Malaysia? How's your like weather, people, food? So far, the food is absolutely amazing. Amazing, uh, yeah. Yeah, um, the food, it's because there's Indian food, Chinese food, Malaysian food, everything. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, and the weather's been really good. We weren't sure this morning whether we were going to come here because it was really misty. But is it normal up here that there's a lot of mist every day? Is it always misty in yes. the morning? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, and Malaysian people are very, very nice. Thank you for Very friendly. Thank yeah, you so thank you. Nice See you. Ice cream? Not right now, I'm here. Thank you. <laughs> and then if you want something sweet, you can head down one more floor and there's so many desserts to choose from. That was great. I would definitely recommend coming to Penang Hill. I actually saw a sign upstairs that said you haven't been to Penang if you haven't been to Penang Hill. But it was definitely worth it. Really interesting going up on the funicular. First time doing that. But I'm a little bit hungry. There was some food up there. But Malaysia is famous for hawker street food and we spotted a place last night which was really close to our hotel that opens at 4.30 so we're going to jump back on the bus and go there. Can I have chicken cordon bleu? Have here, Do you have that to eat here? Have here? Yeah. Alright, no Thank you. Do you want something here Jerry or somewhere else? Look sometime. Ah, okay. Okay, have a seat for that. Thank you. Welcome. We've come to get some food at one of the places quite close to where we're staying in Jelatong and these hawker stalls that are set up are really common in Penang and throughout Malaysia actually. So Jerry got some food from one stall, um, a Chinese stall. What is it? It's fried spicy noodle. It tastes really Chinese here. And how much did it cost? Just 7 ringgit. Very, very good. Mm. And I've went for something a little bit more western again. So I've got chicken cordon bleu. And this place, it's called Mike's Kitchen Western Food. And it comes with French fries, coleslaw, baked beans, and garlic bread. Let's have a look inside here. Oh, and this was 15 ringgit. Oh, look at that. 
Oh, that's really tasty. Creamy. Okay, so we're going to dig in and enjoy our food. But thanks for watching. And we're moving to Georgetown in a couple of days and we're going to be trying a lot more food. If you haven't subscribed already, hit subscribe and we'll see you soon. Thank you.